Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. There are two quadrants left for us to explore. So guess where we're going today? The Sanctuary, I guess. I probably should have gone to Kakariko Village. Shoulda. Didn't. Because the next place we're going to be exploring today is the forest. I forget what the forest is called in Low Rule. Can't go that way. Got a big ol' rock in the way. Got a tiny little rock in the way. Oh man, money. But here in the forest, you may recall one of these pillars, which I mentioned gained the cracks on them. So we can go inside to make our way to Low Rule. Skull Woods, that's what it was called. And now we're in Skull Woods, in all its scully glory. And we can leave the Skull Woods just a little bit further to the south. Come on, dude. Taking so many hits. Jerk move. We can leave Skull Woods, making our way just to the south, where we find what used to bridge a town. Get in my mind. And by weaseling our way around that, a piece of heart. I feel like I would have liked it better if the pieces of heart were generally held in the more behind the more difficult puzzles. Because like right now it's almost I I feel like um what's held behind some of the most difficult puzzles is often just a big chunk of money. And like that's not nearly as rewarding to me as a piece of heart. I feel like if they did that alone, I probably would have felt worlds better. Fudge that guy. We can't go that way, though, so we can't go into the... Oh, there's also a thing right here I didn't see. On the back of Sahazra's house. Okay, before we go back in the woods, let's take a look around and explore. That's why I stabbed it. Good luck at it, man. See its shadow. Got a bigger shadow than every other one. Turning the value down here? Yes. I was really expecting to, like, knock that guy back or something. That would have been funny. Okay, looks like that's about it for over here, other than a very large chasm. Of course, we can see Death Mountain does begin eventually off to the right. Yep, there we go. You're coming with me. Crap. Darn chicken. I almost made it. If it wasn't for you. Not carrying me high enough. We got another portal. Going into Rosso's house. Getting all kinds of portals. 
Look at all them portals we're getting. All right, chicken. You can see there is a piece of heart up there, so we gotta get up there and get that thing. Now we get it by doing effectively what I did before, only not in a dumb way. Yeah, we can't jump that way. Yeah, gotta go this way. Huh. Good job, chicken. I feel bad that the tree that the guys cut down is still here. They cut it down. That's, a bit, that's it about for everything outside of the forest in this quadrant. So we're going to be heading into the forest from here. Oh my, my. And a guy, and a thing. Sure did. I sorta of would. But that is ludicrously expensive, so I'll get back to you later. I completely forget what he actually gives you. Probably like a bottle. We can see right there waiting for us whatever sage it is. We're rescuing in these parts the the pure and proper Ceres, I think her name was. Was it Ceres? It was maybe Ceres. And that's where we came in. But we went all this way, and there was no actual dungeon. Well, you'll notice, a we've never been to anywhere in the up in the northwest of this place, or at the very least, the west. And we've also never been anywhere southeast. Trying to figure out which way is faster to get there. Yeah, all that area off to the southeast that we've not been in. We can look at a tree stump. It's a mighty fine tree stump. But no, we actually have to go down and outside and go in another one of the entrances to the Skull Woods in order to get there. Guys take entirely too many hits. This one right here, you saw the far left one we could go in, but that just loops around to the top. The middle one we can't get in because we don't have the capacity to pick up very large boulders. And then there's here. This right here being the entrance to our dungeon. And it does loop around still. There's a section off to the lower right, but the Skull Woods, much like it did in Link to the Past, does take you in and out of the dungeon a lot. And then leaving this way takes you down where the... The barrier is that we cannot get past. So that is actually it. We're done exploring the Skull Woods. And we've unlocked the entrance to one last dungeon, or one more dungeon anyway. So there is still one last dungeon for us to do. And you know what? Let's take care of that today. Still have to rescue Irene. And that last one is on Death Mountain. So we're heading up not to the Tower of Hera, but just regular old Death Mountain. Because right there is the portal. The crack, I suppose.
And this Death Mountain is a little frosty. Snowy and terrible. All around. Now this guy actually throws snowballs at you, but he also charges at you. So, like, he can catch you off guard. Big guy, moves quick. He's down here. My my! I can see him doing that. That's him charging and then hitting a wall. Nope, don't want to walk into you. I think those guys are much like the other guys. Oh. You know, a nice way to kill this guy? You can stab him a bunch if you really want to. That. Or you could just burn him. Oh no! Just landed on my head! I'm just gonna get knocked out and lay here for a while. Oh man, rupees! Anything else for us to do while we're up? Yes, we can actually go up this ramp. Much like in the Dark World and Link to the Past, the Spectacle Rock there is actually lowered as opposed to the Light World's hiring. I want to get over there, but I don't think I can do anything over there. Smoosh. Skulls still come alive, by the way. I think I heard a Mai Mai under one of those, but we can't do anything about it, so we'll just get back to that later. Sup? How are you doing? Treacherous Tower, mentioned by one of the people in town, you may recall, is a place where all the tough guys hang out. Um, I've never actually completed this one, I'll say. Granted, I never really tried very hard. But, um, really, I guess you could say this is a lot like Twilight Princesses, or, um, Wind Waker's Pit of a Hundred Trials. I'll come back to that. Bird wants me to save. I save when I want to. It doesn't tell me what to do. Oh boy, Monster Tail. And I think that'll that'll take us nowhere. Ooh, checking stuff at me. Okay, so we've, for the most part, explored the top section here. Got them red tektites. Red tektites! I don't know, all the tektites in this game are kind of a joke, because you can hit them once and it stuns them. And they don't jump right away. So you can just kind of walk up and wreck them. I have all of the fairies I can carry, don't I? I could technically carry one more fairy. I'd maybe like to get something else at some point, but at the moment I'm alright. I should probably equip something other than a lamp. Like, really, who uses a lamp? That looks like about all there is to do down here. Yeah, that's all just up top there. Now, you may notice, may have noticed, that there was, in fact, no way to get over to the eastern half of Death Mountain. There's no way down here, just a wall. And if we climb up, there's also no way up here. You see, I'm jumping down here just so that guy doesn't hit me. You see, what we're supposed to do is go back to Hyrule 
And if you remember all the crap that I went through inside like that eastern flaming part of Death Mountain to get over to Rosso's coal mine, you have to do that again because the portal is over there. Or, on the contrary, you could go over here. Where there's a little rock that moves. And you just kind of let them weasel their way up here. Nope, didn't quite work. Let's try that again. Need you to be just a little bit lower than that. Nope, still too high. Lower, my friend! Maybe? And there we go. Now we're across. Turn your sorry butt on. And then this is the portal that you're supposed to come out of. You may recall this place and how I couldn't actually do anything over here. And inside here was horrible and was what dealt with all of these moving things that... This is overall just unpleasant for everyone. So, now that we've made it to the Death Mountain, the low rule version of Death Mountain, let's explore! I'm not seeing a lot down here on the bottom. Thus far, there's yet another doorway there. Let's check around everything outside before we actually go inside places. Got a Mai Mai up there, which I can get to from up here. Sixty! I can go upgrade stuff! I'm pretty sure in Link to the Past, you could not actually cut the skulls. You had to grab them and throw them. You just walk. Do you even, like, jump? That looks like about all that's over here. Yep, looks like about it. Alright, then. Well, if that's about it, then let's go on inside. But yeah, in Link to the Past, you couldn't cut the swords. You had to pick them up and throw them. But yeah, you can apparently cut skulls in this game, which is actually a terrifying thing in its own right, that Link has the force behind his swing to cleave a skull as easily as a bush. But then I guess you can also just pick these skulls up and throw them and they break, so maybe that says more about the integrity of the skulls than anything. Similar to in the um, Hyrule version of Death Mountain, you've got all these weird puzzles going through an inside place. Only here, it's on these thin little passages like that. Travel north, got it. Not messing with you guys. I'm, however, bringing out the fire rod because you're a jerk. Before we go north, I'm actually going to go west. Because as before, there are actually four different pathways you can take here. The one you came in from being one of them. Here, wait until the... As soon as you start, as soon as the platform starts moving back. Do the little flying thing and you should be good to make it. 
Okay, so what do we got going here? Oh man, right over it. Okay, let's go. Give me back over. Can wait for that guy to come back around. There we go. Ah, bat! Eyeball bat! Eyeball bat! Alright, that takes us outside. Taking us outside, this is where we, um, in Hyrule, we went over here and talked to the guy who gave us the bottle. We had to give him the milk. Here we get 300 rupees. Oh no, I got frozen. Hey, my mind. Might as well go back in here while we're here, since we don't know where this one goes, but do know where the other one is, and we had no other options. You're gonna have to actually jump off of these to get onto the next platform. Because they don't even- they don't line up evenly. As one might expect. Don't mind me just gonna stand here with my legs sticking out. Okay, so hey, we're back to this! Wow, that was 50 rupees. We're back to the central hub, though! So, that's two places down, so all we have to do now is go north, as was mentioned, in order to get us to the... The Ice Temple. I see bats. I hear bats. Stay away, bat. Wah! Get on that platform. Bat. I feel like this game handles the pseudo 3D 2D really well, actually. Um, I think the only qualm I have with it is... There are there is occasionally issues with height where you can't hit a bat that like I want to be able to hit this bat but he's too high but you can't judge height or anything and height shouldn't be an issue in a top down game but you can't hit him and we're out that also works with enemies going up slopes like if you're standing below an enemy on a slope you just can't hit him it's a little irritating but like if, like if that's your only qualm with a game. Man, they really don't want me going to that place. Do you even jump, or do you just waddle? Yeah, you jump. Okay, the ice ruins, obviously, are gonna be over where Turtle Rock is. So instead, I'm gonna go this way. If you have the fire rod, you can just burn those and waddle your way over here and get 100 rupees. That's pleasant. Not much else here. Skull. Okay, so there's a guy over here throwing bombs. Sort of. Here, my my. Here, my my, and I see a weather ray. I'd rather not play this game as much as I want. Can't stop me. There it is. And all right. On top of that, we can just kind of walk in. So I think I'm reason reasonably-ish safe here. So until next time everyone. We've actually been now to six of the seven dungeons. There's only one that we can't actually go in yet. The other six, we can tackle in whatever order we want to. We've explored as much of the map as I care to explore at the moment. I'm sure there's some things we've missed out on, but uh, I'll get back to those later. Until next time, everyone. <laughs>